Why are you so passionate about education? Well, because first of all, it saved me. It empowered me. I grew up in, I guess, what would be considered poverty today. And at the age of 10, I decided that the only way to get out of this situation was to, through education. It's the key to being empowered because you learn things that can help you lead a better life. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to help everybody have this opportunity. I mean, I have hundreds, maybe thousands of very successful students. I mean, really successful. And my theory is that they became successful because they feel empowered. They feel that they can do whatever it is they want to do. What is it that um, concretely you do in your classroom that you feel empowers students to later on live more fulfilling and um, productive lives? There's basically four main things. Number one is I teach communication. Students need to be able to communicate. If you know how to communicate well in high school, trust me, you can communicate well in college mm. and in real life. Journalism should be incorporated into the curriculum all schools worldwide. Journalism is part of the 21st century. This is the century of media. To ignore it is like ignoring the advent of the automobile at the beginning of the 20th century. <laughs> Journalism is communication, and communication is the key to everything. I would like to see every kid in the United States, or the world actually, have media literacy training so that they would be able to understand what is a reliable source and what sources should you be suspicious of. I think in the past, you know, 20 years ago, anything that was printed was credible. That's one of the problems. Today we have to say anything that's online is suspicious. The second thing is collaboration. You want to teach kids to work together in teams and you have to work with everybody because they're all part of life. They're all gonna be there. You think these people are gonna disappear? <laughs> they're gonna graduate with you. <laughs> they're there forever. Then critical thinking. And how do I teach critical thinking? They have to go out and collect information. You get primary sources. You find out what's going on in the world, right? You collect the information and then you have to figure out what's most important. That's really hard mm. to figure this out. So if you have practice doing this, you do this every day, every week, you get really good at it. Mm -hmm. So communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and the fourth one is creativity. Creativity is something you have to practice. So they make a lot of mistakes. That's fine, I don't care, you know, just redo it. Re redo whatever it is. But your creative mistakes, some of them are totally wacky, but it turns out that they were really good ideas. Mm -hmm. Let's give kids some freedom. Let's trust them. Give them some control of what they're learning. Don't tell them what to do all the time. Respect them. You know, respect their intelligence. Swear to God, they're really smart. Even the ones that you don't think are smart, they're smarter than you think. I trust my students. I believe that they know what they're doing. Education today is dramatically different, but the school systems haven't changed. They completely disregard the fact that most of us are learning on our phones. They've been using those electronic devices for a long time. Let's give them an opportunity to be creative and to use the information that they know in creative ways. That doesn't mean I think about getting rid of the, the lecture-based model. My theory is 80% of the curriculum can be lecture-based, the old system, 80%. We just need to change it for 20%, 20% time. Well, why not push it further? Because the system is so entrenched in the way it's been handed down for generations, it's very hard to change it. Mm. And so I wanna work with the system as it is. It can be a gradual shift. Change is very hard for people. Change is very hard for cultures. Change is hard for everybody. We all talk about change, but no one really wants to do it. Mm -hmm.